It thrills me to be able to tell you this is week 10 in a study in Galatians. Now, I've talked about this for, I guess, a year or, you know, a long time. Uh, we started this In Him Scripture study in June 21st of 2021, and I felt like that, that the Lord, after I finished that, the Lord wanted me to go through Paul's epistles. And we've we've went through uh, Romans, first first and second Corinthians, and now we're in the in the tenth week of a study in Galatians. I don't know where God's going to send me in the, in the future. I really don't. The more I I study and the more I see what God wants me to do, the more I think that that He's He's looking for me to 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 get in the groove of. Of, of letting him guide me in the direction we're going. We're going to continue doing this study in Galatians and and see what God tells us to do. But you pray for this ministry. This ministry is, is in a place that... I'm telling you, I, I I couldn't have I couldn't have sat down and wrote a fictional story, and 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 told you how how good God could could be to a a group of people, and I'm talking about my family, the people that are, are take part in this ministry, and all the all the people that we're ministering to. Uh, I feel like God wants us to, to to continue doing what we're doing. He's opening doors. He just opened a, another door at a at a women's ministry here, right here around the house, and and uh, we're we're having a Bible study over there on Sunday nights, and we're going to the jails twice a week. We're preaching in the jails in in six, six different pods in two different jails, and. And just uh, and then the podcast, the videos that we do on Thursday nights are going out to uh, they're approved in 919 different jails and prisons in this nation. And you pray that that we do what we're supposed to do, because I'm going to tell you something. This is this is a a uh, an endeavor that I, there's no way in this world I could have done on my own. Uh, God has put me in this. He's opened doors to for me to see it, or for Him to uh, see me uh, be used all over the planet. But I feel like that that I I, I need to go into a a bigger video part ministry because of all the the jails and the prisons we're dealing with. So you just help me pray for guidance. Uh, we're going to continue to do what God wants us to do. We're going to continue to stay on this track of in Paul's epistles, and uh, but we're going to see what God t- tells us to do in the future on what to do to feed the people that listen to this podcast. Because uh, I'm going to tell you something: God's word has has pulled me through life. He, he he has given me strength that I couldn't have mustered in 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 no way shape nor form in my own strength. Uh, he he's took me places that I thought I'd never ever see, and saw people's lives change through him, not through me. So you pray for us. This is week ten of a study in Galatians, and like I say, we're praying for guidance and direction. I want to be I want to be right dead center of God's will no matter where he leads us. So just pray that we we're doing that. I want to encourage you to go back to June 21st, 2021 and get this entire in him scripture study. Come through the in him scripture study, through the book of 1st and 2nd Corinthians, through Romans, and now we're in Galatians. So I encourage you go back, get this app, download this app and 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 see what God is saying through his word, in his word, through the through the last almost two years, well, it has been two years now, uh, of, of this ministry doing what we're doing. And I want to thank the partners. Partners, thank you. Thank you for all you're doing, for the guidance and the, and the help that you help us with, and sowing into this ministry, sending us where we go on a weekly basis. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. 
I thank God for faithful partners that sow into this ministry to help us do what we're doing. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Glory to God. I find it a privilege to bring you these prayers, Paul's prayers for the for the Ephesians. You know, I've adopted these prayers for every person that walks face this planet, that we would all come to the realize, realization and the knowledge of who we are and the love that God has for us, has written down for us. Ephesians 1.15 says, ever, th- ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus... And your love for God's people everywhere. I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3, 14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit then christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him your roots will grow down into god's love and keep you strong and may you have the power to understand as all god's people should how wide how long how high and how deep his love is may you experience the love of christ though it is too great to understand fully then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God. He opens my eyes to that love, that mercy, that grace, and that goodness more and more every day of my life. And he does it through his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide me. Lord, use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Let's get into this today. And this, this, this scripture, this one scripture will set you free. It will set you free if you'll just come to understand what Jesus Christ has done in your life as a born-again child of God. And I'm not saying this, is, this scripture is not giving us a license to do whatever we want to do. But he is setting us free, telling us that we are free from the bondage of the law, from the shame and the condemnation that the law brings, because the law was impossible to keep. It's by faith in Christ Jesus that we can stand before God, whole, accepted by God in him, in him. And when you realize who you are in Christ Jesus, I promise promise you that the the uh, the law is easy to keep I, paul said it uh, before i ever read anything but the 13th chapter of romans 13 romans 13 8 paul said oh no man anything but to love one another for he that loves another has fulfilled the law and that was that was jesus commandment that we love god and love one another, and we could fulfill God's law through Jesus, through him, through through the love that he has shed abroad in our hearts in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Let me read this. It's 
the King James Version for Galatians 3.25, it says, But after that faith has come, we are no longer under the schoolmaster. In other words, no longer under the law. Are you saying, well, is the law done away with? No. But we, we, we don't have to carry the weight and the burden of that law because Jesus fulfilled that, fulfilled that law so that we could walk out from under that law strong in him. The New Living Translation says, And now that the way of faith has come, we no longer need the law as our guardian or as our, as our guide. Why? Because we're walking in the knowledge of who we are in Christ Jesus. And, and the truth is, when you hear, when you hear and know and understand what God, who God has made you to be in Christ Jesus, and you know it in your heart, and your mind's renewed to it, it's easily, it's, uh, the, the, the law is easily walked in. And, and walk, you know, just walking in who you are in Christ and knowing that. You say, well, are, are you perfect? Have you, do you walk perfectly every day? No. But when you mess up, you know exactly where to, where, where to run. And that is to the one that's sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for all of us. And that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I, 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 I'm telling you, knowing that one truth how that we could come boldly to God's throne, set me free. How You say, how do I do that? You, you do it in him. You walk in him. You come boldly to God's throne in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Galatians 3.25 says, but now that faith has come, what faith, faith, what faith, faith in God, has come. We no longer need the law as our guardian. Let me back up. Let me read the Amplified Classic. That's the New Living Translation. It says, "Now, now that but now that faith has come, we no long we are no longer under a trainer, a guardian of our childhood. Nope, we're walking in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, by faith in Him, and." He he accomplished what mankind couldn't accomplish. You know, they, they spent all those years from the law, when the law was written, all those years trying to keep it, and all it was put, put in, in, into, into, uh, into this world, was all it was put here for, it was to teach us that we needed a, we needed a Savior. He came and, and done what we couldn't do so that we could walk in the freedom of, of his accomplishments, of his righteousness. The Bible says we've been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And uh, it amazes me how people miss that, 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 that they, they miss that they're righteous in Christ Jesus, not in their goodness. They've been taught to look at themselves I do my dead level best on a daily basis to teach people not to look at their selves, but to look at him and where they reside in him. And and religion has done a very good job in discouraging the church, uh, holding the church back. And that's what not that's not what I'm called to do. I'm I'm called to pull the church out of that religious bondage. And set them free in the grace and the knowledge, the goodness and the love that God gave us in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hear people all the time. I hear them all the time say, oh, yeah, uh, the Lord, the, by, by God's grace are we saved through, through faith. And, but then they'll turn right around and say, boy, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. No, the Bible says, let the weak say I'm strong. And and how are you strong? You're in, you're strong in Him. You don't look at yourself in your in your shortcomings. You look at yourself walking in the strength of Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, and and that makes you strong. You don't have you're not living in the, under the under the weight of the law, the weight that the law brings. And and I'm gonna tell you something. I, I threw up my hands and quit twenty three years ago. Threw up my hands and quit, and when I done it, 
I felt like there was 10,000 pounds lifted off my shoulders. I, I didn't know that I, I didn't have to carry that weight uh, one second after I was born again, but I wasn't taught that. I was taught that you're just you're just an old sinner saved by grace. You're lucky to be here. Just just do the best you can and and rely on him. Well, yeah, that's the truth. We are we are we were sinners. That I, I have to say this. That's the truth to a point. But when you get born again, you're no longer a sinner. You're either a sinner or a saint in him. And in him, you are a saint. You're not a sinner in Christ Jesus. And it took me a long time to figure that out. It took me a long time to, to find out that I could walk in the truth and the knowledge of what Jesus Christ done for me and live in it, live strong in it, live strong in what God had done in my life at, through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. But there's millions that miss it. There, there's millions that are born again born again, still trying to, to please God through their good deeds. No, Jesus done everything we'll ever need to be done on this planet. He done it so that we could walk free of, of all the shame and the condemnation that the law brings. And the Galatians were, they I mean, they done it over and over and over again, went right back trying to trying to live good enough in themselves. Jesus lived good enough so that we could live free of that, live free and walk in him, walk in our life. You say, well, you know, people just, they, they, they get that kind of mindset and just get out here and do just anything they want to do. There's going to be people that takes advantage of what I'm talking about. But I'm going to tell you something. There's going to be a lot of people out here in this world that when they get hold of who Christ has made them to be, and walk in the faith of that, that that they ain't going to take advantage of it. But no, no, they're going to walk in who they be, have been made to be to help be help someone else find the truth, and and what that salvation brings. And that's why I do what I do. That's why I do what I do is to reinforce who we are in Christ Jesus through faith in God, not through our good deeds or the law, but through faith in Him. So that people can get strong, become strong, and 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 know and understand that that without a shadow of a doubt, we're able to do this. We're able to live in who we are, be strong in who we are. I'm gonna tell you something today. I, I want you to understand something today. God loves you. He cares for you, and I I, I want you to know this. Walk in that. Walk in that strength. Help, help yourself walk in that strength. And it'll always be in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Now, I'm going to ask you a question today. I'm going to ask you a question today. Are you born again? Have you been born again? Do you know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? I'm going to tell you, he, he loves you and he cares for you and wants more than anything in this world for you to know it. He wants you to walk strong in that salvation. But if you've never made Jesus Lord of your life, you'll, you'll never understand what I'm talking about. So today I want to tell you, today's the perfect day to be born again. Do that. Romans 10 and 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. It says you shall be saved. It don't say you might be if you're good enough. But it says you shall be saved if you'll confess Jesus as Lord of your life. Do that. Do that today. It says for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. It's all it takes to be saved. Won't you be born again today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart, into your life, and save you? He will. I promise you he will. Do that today. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and watch him change your life forever. Lord, I thank you and I praise you, God, for this opportunity, Lord, to bring your word to the people that listen to this podcast. Hey, listen. 
I want you to understand something. This po- podcast is free. Don't cost you anything. All you have to do is 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 listen. Listen. It's here to help you walk strong in your salvation. Or if you're not born again, to be born again and, and to find out and understand who you are in Christ Jesus so that strength can can bring you through, can lift you up and strengthen you. Oh, I thank God for the truth in God's Word. I thank God for the partners that, that God has given us, given this ministry, to help us do what we do. Oh, to, to, to give God's Word away all over this planet, free of charge. Partners, thank you for all that you do, sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give His Word away free of charge all over this planet. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over our partners today. Thank you, partners. Now, if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into this ministry today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. Download this app. Download this app and get these these podcasts coming to your phone every day, six days a week, throughout the week, to to, to grow strong in Him. They're short, like 20-something minutes, Monday through Friday. And then on Sunday, we've got a message comes out, and it's the audio part of the the uh, the videos that go into the prisons. We put it out on Sundays just to teach people who they are. He teach them who they have been made to be in Christ Jesus, their Lord and Savior. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the dash prodigal son dot com.